If there's juice to be had, you can count on Miss Juice to bring it to you. Do you hear Chris let the cat out of the bag? Turns out the music industry is a cesspool of weird and shocking behavior. Chris went on a record to say he didn't want to get intimate with Diddy and what went down between the two. Sit back, grab a straw, and sip on this tea with me. In a jaw-dropping bombshell that's sending shockwaves across the music world, some seriously messed up stuff has been exposed about the shady side of the industry. It turns out that behind all the glitz and glam, there's a dark underbelly of fraud, manipulation, and even sexual exploitation lurking. One of the big names speaking out is none other than Chris Brown, who's shedding light on the messed up rituals artists are pressured into. Apparently, industry big shots like Diddy have been forcing singers to get down and dirty with same-sex encounters as some messed up initiation rite. Yeah, your ears do not deceive you. Coercion and manipulation are at their finest, all in the name of climbing the success ladder. Hey, if you can't handle the heat, get out of the gossip kitchen. Except this scandal gets even worse. There are reports of crazy parties thrown by Diddy where things get seriously out of control. Artists are supposedly drugged up and that's when all kinds of freaky shenanigans go down. We're talking transvestites documenting the whole mess on video. Video. It's like some twisted horror movie, except it's real life. Now, Diddy's sexual orientation has always been a mystery, with the rumors swirling around for ages. Collaborations with artists like Blood Orange, where the music videos show some intense same-sex action, only add fuel to the fire. Who knows what's really going on behind closed doors? These revelations are causing major chaos in the industry. People are calling out the hypocrisy and deceit that's been going on for far too long. And let's not forget the lack of diversity and acceptance that's been exposed to. It's high time for a serious shakeup. Even some artists who've shown support for the LGBTQ community are being questioned about their own sexual orientations. The gossip mill is going wild, with speculation and rumors flying left and right. This is the kind of stuff that shakes the very foundations of the music industry. It's a wake-up call, exposing the dark underbelly and making us question everything. The industry needs a serious makeover, where honesty, diversity, and respect become the new norm. It's time to face the music and make a change. Chris Brown dropped a bombshell during his appearance on the popular podcast Drink Champs. The multi-talented artist spilled the beans about his encounter with music mogul Diddy and the surprising outcome that unfolded. During the episode, which aired on June 24, 2022, Brown disclosed that he had approached Diddy, the mastermind behind Bad Boy Records, in hopes of signing with his label. However, what transpired next left the young singer in disbelief. Diddy turned him down. Recounting the incident, Brown revealed that he was just a mere 12-year-old at the time, accompanied by his friend TJ, with whom he had formed a nameless group. In a candid moment, Brown admitted that he was doing an honest day's work and trying to make something of his life. The podcast hosts DJ EFN and NORE couldn't help but inject some humor into the situation, teasing Brown about the possibility that his group's lack of a name might have been the reason behind Diddy's rejection. Except, Brown believes denying him some extra party favors is the reason he was rejected. This revelation adds another layer to the already fascinating and tumultuous journey of Chris Brown's rise to fame. It serves as a reminder that even the biggest names in the music industry face setbacks and disappointments along the way. Despite this setback, Brown's talent eventually led him to find success with Def Jam, solidifying his place in the music industry. And he's decided to call out Diddy on another sensitive issue too. Hey, I'm not just spilling the tea. I'm brewing a whole new batch. In a stunning display of unfiltered honesty, Chris Brown unleashed his thoughts on the controversial topic of R&B survival in the industry. Taking to social media, the renowned artist left no stone unturned as he passionately addressed the state of the genre and the role of the music industry in shaping its trajectory. Brown defiantly rejected claims that R&B is dead, challenging those who dare to utter such words. With a touch of sass, he proclaimed that R&B 
baby is very much alive, dismissing the naysayers like Puff Diddy and with a playful jab at their own poor taste in music. He threw the music industry under the bus, accusing it of favoring superficiality over substance. In his eyes, real talent is being overshadowed by what he calls musical junk food. He pointed out the lack of platforms showcasing music videos and criticized the industry for forcefully shoving lackluster content down the throats of music lovers. The artist's fiery words didn't go unnoticed. They ignited a viral firestorm, with fans, fellow artists, and industry insiders weighing in on the debate. Brown further fueled the flames by sharing the cover of Tank's latest album, where he features prominently to remind everyone that R&B is far from dead. And of course, seeing the catastrophe his comments caused, did he clear the air? While defending his intentions, he explained that his aim was to bring attention to R&B, emphasizing the importance of the genre's balance and the power of vulnerability and love in creating memorable music. The clash between Brown and Diddy has set the stage for a lively and impassioned conversation about the fate of R&B. As the industry grapples with this controversy, it remains to be seen whether it will lead to a renaissance of the genre, a wave of exciting collaborations, or even more shocking revelations. One thing is for certain, the music world won't be the same after these bombshell statements. You know what I mean. I'm not just a gossip queen, I'm a celebrity whisperer. Turns out, this messy relationship is all water under the bridge. After a period of tension and animosity, it seems that the stormy relationship between Chris Brown and P. Diddy has finally found its way to calmer shores. The two music moguls surprised everyone when they put their differences aside and shared the stage at Pharrell Williams' Something in the Water Festival in Virginia Beach back in April 2023. The festival, already brimming with star power, became even more electrifying as Sean Diddy Combs and Chris Brown joined forces with Pharrell Williams and other notable acts such as ASAP Rocky, Busta Rhymes, De La Soul, and M.I.A. Together, they created an unforgettable closing performance that left the crowd in awe. Watching Puff Daddy felt like stepping back in time, mesmerizing the audience by delivering his iconic 1997 hit, It's All About the Benjamins. He didn't stop there, collaborating with Rhymes for a memorable rendition of Pass Their Siroc and joining forces with Williams for the high-energy track, Finna Get Loose. It was a triumphant return for Diddy, who had previously graced the festival stage in 2019. Meanwhile, Chris Brown took the opportunity to showcase his undeniable talent treating the audience to hit after hit. With a crowd in a frenzy, he unleashed electrifying performances of crowd favorites like Loyal and Look At Me Now, leaving no doubt as to why he has become one of the biggest names in the music industry. The unexpected reunion between Chris Brown and P. Diddy sent shockwaves through the music world, signaling a potential end to their feud. The power of music proved once again that it has the ability to bridge gaps and heal wounds, bringing together artists who once seemed at odds. As fans reveled in the spectacle of these two influential figures sharing the same stage, whispers of a reconciliation began to circulate. Could this monumental performance be the first step towards a renewed friendship and collaboration between Chris Brown and P. Diddy? Only time will tell. I mean, it's time we all got another bop since their last collaboration on Dirty Money. In the ever-evolving landscape of the music industry, where alliances shift and feuds ignite, this unexpected reunion serves as a reminder that unity and artistic synergy have the power to surprise and captivate us. The saga between these two titans has taken an intriguing turn, and music enthusiasts eagerly await what the future holds for Chris Brown and P. Diddy's newfound friendship. And that's all I have on Brown and Diddy's crazy relationship. What are your thoughts on the dark secrets of the music industry? Stick around to learn more!